Hello YouTube, this is Dango. In this video, we are going to talk about the PvP in War of Division FFB. So, by talking about PvP here, we are mainly talking about the Auto Arena, which is basically an AI mode. Um, the other arena that looks very interesting, actually, real-time battle. Uh, so, if you check my uh, like channels before, I'm making uh, I was making videos for Languizer Mobile. Uh, I'm still making those videos and. Uh, you know, I was a big like uh, YouTuber for the PvP mode of Langrisser Mobile. So I think, uh, you know, this PvP mode is kind of comparable to the real-time PvP mode in Langrisser Mobile. So when this mode is like out, we will definitely going to look at that and uh, I'm going to like make some content for that. Uh, and I do think this is going to be a very interesting mode. Um, but for now, uh, we are just uh, going to look at the uh, Auto Arena mode. So at the beginning, I also need to say, you know, when like some players, they talk to me, they say, oh, when I play mobile games, there is no PvP for me. I'm just a free-to-play PvE player. I, I just don't want to get into any PvP content. But in this game, if you want to play like PvE better, you actually still need to do some PvP. It's just because the currency that you can get from the, um, from the PvP store is very, very good. Um, the currency like from the PvP here is the arena medals and uh, you can use these arena medals to exchange for the uh, All the you know attack sales and life sales what they do is that when you upgrade your gear They actually provide a chance to uh, uh, um, To have additional stats for your gear when you upgrade the gear There is going to be a, a maximum of attack like health point defense that you can get uh, after upgrading but there is no, I mean, it is not possible for you to actually reach that maximum level without using any of these, um, you know, sales. So you really want to exchange with, you know, your arena medals for these sales. They are really, really important to further increase the ability of your characters. So very, very important, although you don't like PvP, PvP content, um, you still want to join this PvP, especially the auto arena a little bit. You don't have to be super super competitive. For example, if you check the rewards, I would say, uh, you know, if you are not a big fan of the PvP content, I would say actually try to stay at like top 5,000. Should give you around like um, you know enough medals. If you want to be a little bit more hardcore, maybe trying to reach like top 1,000 should be shouldn't be so hard for you. If you spend all the you know chance to do the PvP daily. So for weekly reward, you know, you can actually directly get the life sale um, this week. I don't know if this is going to be the same for the other weeks. But yeah, directly getting these um, life sales uh, is very, very good. Because you need a lot of them when you upgrade your gears. And uh, I mean, not to mention the free laps that you can get from the rewards is also pretty good. Um, I do think if you want to stay like top 100, you need to spend some laps to refill the chance for PvP as well. So yeah, it depends on if you think you need like more of these, um, you know, these sales. You can see there is a significant difference between top 50 and uh, top 100. Top 50 is actually very, very competitive. I'm not sure if all the players can reach there. But um, if you play like, uh, for example, if you do like one refill per day, I believe um, it is it shouldn't be too hard for now to get you within top 100. And uh, you know, if you just uh, use, use all the chains, uh, and if you can like follow the instructions that I'm going to talk about later, um, it should help you to stay in top a thousand. So yeah, what I'm going to talk about is like, although it is a you know a AI based PvP battle, there is still some strategy there. For example, um, the positioning of tank and uh, you know aggressive characters, uh, I usually position my tank for the first spot, so they can just uh, jump in and tank. If you put, for example, if you put Medea or the S Mage into the first slot, she usually just rush in in the first turn, and then your enemy is going to move, right? Uh, your, man your enemy is going to um, come to you and kill your Mage. So she cannot do anything before being killed, so that's really, really bad. Uh, you want to keep her in the middle, so depends on the map and depends on the enemy's team, she will decide to, you know, go either the top or the bottom. But if either like he go, she goes to the top or bottom, um, she will kind of be protected by the other characters. Uh, I also put like a character that has like one shot capability in the third spot, so 
um, yeah, when he jumps in, um, if he's not killed by the enemy, he has a chance to just uh, kill the enemy. So that's also very, very important. Uh, and uh, the other thing that I want to say is try to find a uh, easier enemy for you. For example, I'm using a mage here, so if my enemy is like, like pure um, physical DPS, and if they are short legs, uh, I mean by short leg means like their mobility is very slow, uh, they move very slow, then they can be easily destroyed by a mage. So let's just uh, find um, something easier here. Yeah, you can see this team looks very, very strong, so I don't want to fight him. Um, but uh, yeah, this team looks a little bit better. Um, the Lancer unit is actually very, very annoying to my mage. This guy's unit has very high level. Uh, it is, sometimes it takes time to find the enemy that you want to fight. Uh, for example, this one, yeah, this one should look pretty good. Um, yeah, so because this guy is using a Lancer as the third spot, which kind of counters Mage a little bit. So maybe we want to switch the position a little bit for him. Uh, in this case, usually I would put my tank in the first spot, but uh, to um, yeah, but basically to counter him, we actually want to switch the spot a little bit, cause mage is a little bit countered by lancer unit. So let's put uh, mage in the first spot in this case, okay? And and then we can find this dude. Where's him? Okay, yeah. So let's just fight. Because I really don't want to let Lancer unit to touch my media. He, he can potentially one-shot me before I even reach him. So yeah, this is just a something to keep in mind. Um, always check the positioning of your enemy before you start uh, and do some adjustment. So uh, that can maximize your chance to win this battle. So in this case, uh, although uh, my mage is going to rush in uh, and uh, his, she is actually going to attack first turn. But uh, she's away from the dangerous spot, which is the Lancer unit, um, which could be very dangerous for me, so it's okay. After she used that attack, um, she's pretty much down. Um, there's no, not much AP left for her. Okay, she's, uh, yeah, this character is charging, so uh, I, think, uh, I think she's dead, we will see. Yeah, the weird thing is that this guy is putting tank in the second spot, so it's not going to be super, super effective. Interesting. Regeneration scale. Hmm. That is not going to be super, super effective. Yeah, it's just a diet. Yeah. <laughs> That's a very weird move. Um, I think the character is not super, super sad for uh, AI Arena. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. This answer can, this lancer unit can hit your two characters from like, um, okay, stunned. Uh, that's kind of not very lucky, but it's okay. We, yeah, we have a very strong DPS here. Uh, so it's going to be like two versus one. That's fun. Um, she's going to be killed, but I still have two units left. Um, so they should do their job. Yeah, the little problem is like uh, these two units. My tank is not. He he doesn't know what he should um, what he should uh, do here. Uh, that's okay. Please don't stun me. Yeah, I'm not stunned this time. Okay, nice. Okay, so easy peasy. So. Yeah, with some good positioning, um, you know, some change of your positioning, uh, it shouldn't be too hard for you to get a win here. So, yeah, it is getting very competitive. Although I get a win, uh, I'm still out of 50. So we will see if we can make it to the top um, 50. But yeah, again, um, try to adjust uh, the team according to the weakness of your enemy's team. But usually, uh, the more general strategy is to put a tank in the first spot, so I'm going to put my tank back. So I'm going to put my tank back. Um, yeah, because usually you would want to have tank 
here, so um, he can actually protect your other characters. So this usually works well. Okay, so this is all about this video. Hopefully you find this um, useful. And uh, yeah, I wish you good luck in this um, PvP content in uh, FFB, FFBE uh, World of Divisions. So I'm going to make more of this video later. Um, so if you do enjoy my content, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Thanks.